it is um, a setup is given of um, indirect uh, FM modulated to generate FM signal. Here FM signal is there and this is given to a frequency multiplier with multiplying constant 64 and this is multiplied with a sinusoidal oscillator with oscillating frequency 9.8 megahertz and given to band pass filter which is centered about uh, 3 megahertz okay. and it is again multiplied with frequency multiplier with the multiplying constant 32 and finally FM signal is generated with carrier frequency 96 megahertz and delta F is 20 kilohertz. Then we have to find what is this delta F and carrier frequency in the very much initial stage we have to find out. And one thing this frequency multiplier, this frequency multiplier, um, if you take a frequency multiplier with multiplying constant n, if some carrier frequency fc and frequency deviation delta f, then at frequency multiplier output the carrier frequency becomes nfc and frequency deviation becomes n delta f. Or you can see if the frequency at frequency multiplier output is fc then it becomes fc by n at the input of multiplier and if frequency deviation is n delta f or delta f at the output then at the input of frequency multiplier that becomes delta f by n. This multiplying constant n will be of course integer like this okay. Now we have to do in reverse at this frequency multiplier input I am taking the carrier frequency fc double dash is 96 megahertz by 32 this is 96 megahertz by 32 this is uh, it is 3 megahertz it becomes here and delta f double dash this 20 kilohertz by 32 this is so 20 by 32 kilohertz it becomes 6 25 hertz here it is 625 hertz. Now band pass filter is just allowing the signal which is centered about 3 megahertz so this 3 megahertz signal is allowed and no effect of delta f by this band pass filter will remain same. So here I am expecting signal with carrier frequency 3 megahertz and delta f this is 625 hertz I am expecting. Now here a signal is multiplied with a multiplier with carrier frequency of um, with local oscillator frequency 9.8 megahertz. And this normal multiplier will have effect only on carrier frequency is not having any effect on frequency deviation. So here what possibly the carrier frequency at the input of multiplier is. So you can see this as a mixer it will do both up conversion down conversion possibly. So two possibilities here one is 12.8 megahertz then if it is performing down conversion 12.8 minus 9.8 will become 3 megahertz or if it performs up conversion then it is 6.8 megahertz 6.8 or this is Now it is um, 12.8 megahertz down conversion. Yeah, there is no chance for uh, up, uh, up conversion here because at the output of multiplier I need to get 3 megahertz and local oscillator frequency is 9.8 megahertz. 
means uh, definitely I have to perform down conversion only because it is less than 9.8 megahertz. Okay. So, we have to perform down conversion only. So, the mixer here is designed to perform down conversion. Then the carrier frequency before mixer will be 12.8 megahertz. Then 12.8 megahertz minus 9.8 megahertz down conversion that becomes 3 megahertz. This is. So, if, uh, if up conversion is performed, I mean to say, uh, if, if, if at all up conversion is performed, then whatever the carrier frequency here that is added with this, then you will get the resulting. But here, what I am expecting is less than local oscillator frequency, means it is not up conversion here, it is down conversion only, then it is 12.8 megahertz. And delta F, no effect of multiplier on frequency deviation, it remains same, so it is 625 hertz, this is. Then what is the carrier frequency before this multiplier is 12.8 megahertz by 64 here and delta F will be this is 625 hertz by 64. So, this F C here it comes to be 12.8 megahertz by 64, so it is 200 kilohertz delta f 625 hertz by 64 this will be 9.76 9.76 hertz so option a is matching with this fc is 200 kilohertz this fc is 200 kilohertz and delta f is in between 9 hertz and 10 hertz so option a is correct here